This video contains content that might not be suitable for most audiences. Viewers' discretion is advised. Hello everyone and welcome to Party Time Jack. Now this is basically an alternate universe audio drama where the Sunny Time crew, instead of being like, you know, a bunch of real people acting out as like, you know, these mascots for like a children's TV show way back in the day, what if they were animatronics instead? Now I'd like to remind you guys that none of this is canon, okay? This was made by Snack Pop Studios just for the fun of it, but I do want to watch it to see like, whether they may or may not like drop any like lore hints in this because who knows i'm still trying to put together the theory video like it's coming soon i promise i promise it's coming soon <laughs> it's, it's just taking me a while to like put together my thoughts and everything okay anyway let's get right into it shall we well now what do we have here w what was that squelch what in the world if you came for a show I'm afraid you're a bit late, friend. We're closed for the night. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Uh, oh, oh my, we're, we're closed now, aren't we? I'm sorry, I guess time got away from both of us. <laughs> huh. Where are your friends? Do you have any family I should alert? I mean, I guess this, uh, I guess this was made like sometime after Security Breach was made. Like, this kind of reminds me of the plot of Security Breach, I'm not sure. If you have a PPID, I can bring up and contact any persons you have registered under your emergency contact. What's a PPID? Why would you need to identify my... what? And we can send you on your way. What's a PPID? That's yeah, your exactly. Party Play ID card, of course. Oh. Every guest is issued one at the door. They oh. manage your arcade credits and e-ticket balance, as well as your prepaid activity passes and Party Play guest account. If you have yours on you, I can look at your account right now and... Oh, I see. You weren't issued one. Are you the guardian of a child attending then? Perhaps you're looking for... I'm looking for you, Jack. I see. You attended on behalf of a child, but are not a guardian. Right. Well, that certainly makes things a bit more complicated. Okay, just legitimately, why would we come in here on behalf of a child if it's not as a guardian? God, wait, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to start theorizing on this. No, no, no. Just let's just, let's just enjoy the audio drama and like try not to get into theorist mode right now, please. Unfortunately, I'm not permitted to access personally identifying information for non-guardians and non-familiar guests. I'm afraid you'll have to come with me then. I'll oh, escort Jack. you to security and we can figure out what to do with you until then. Are you please going to discipline me? I hate to be mean, but you are here unlawfully. Trespassing on private property after hours is not only a felony, but strictly against our guest and attendance code of conduct. What are you going to do to me in security, huh, Jack? What exactly are you going to do to me, huh? You can punch me, kick me, pull my hair. I am A-OK -okay being stabbed. Clearly, Jack, you don't know what my body can take. If you do not comply, I will have no choice but to engage level 2 security protocol, potentially hostile non-compliant guest procedures. Hostile? You really wouldn't want me to have to do that, would you? Great. Mm. Thank you so much for understanding. I promise, we'll get you home safe and sound. Are you sure about that? That does not sound but, safe! Then again, you haven't had a chance to play with us, have you? Jack, what the frick? I thought not. It'd be a real shame to send you home just like that. What do you mean by play? There's so much to do and see. How about we make a little deal? Just us two. Okay. I'll have lots of fun with you if you promise to behave and keep it our little secret. Wouldn't that be so fun to have a secret just between you and me? Yeah, real fun, real fun. What are we you- have cake, balloons, games, everything you could ever even need. And as long as you promise not to tell anybody else, I can show you everything. But, but Jack, you have shown me everything. I mean, like, well, in an alternate universe, but in this universe, I mean, freak, I, I, won't, I won't mind like banging an animatronic again. It can be all special just for you. I never get to spend special one-on-one -on -one time with anyone. So you'd be the only one ever. That would make me so happy. Wouldn't you be happy too? I guess I and would. No, only best friends have secrets like that. So that would make us best friends already. Yeah, totally you best think friends. About it, we're already so close. And who knows? Maybe we'll get even closer. Jack, what in the world is this part of your programming? I mean, to be fair, I I'm pretty sure 
all of us here want to get even closer to even an animatronic version of Jack. I mean, I mean, they're, they're, they don't mind the mysterious clanking noises in the background. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Wouldn't it be great to become special best friends too? <laughs> if that's what you want to call it. <laughs> we only have so long until we're open again. Best not to think too much about it now. When we open again, they'll take you away from me. So let's get a move on. I'll keep you somewhere very safe. They won't find you there. Are you going to shove me inside you? Am I going to be shoved inside animatronic Jack? Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> Jack? Jack? Jack, why is it? Why is it going dark? Why is it going dark? Ruin Jack? What's that sound? What is that sound? Is that us? Uh, am I clanking on animatronic Jack? Hello? You, you there, what are you doing? You know, it's awfully late to be snooping around. You it's put so me here! Dark and there's nobody here. You might get really hurt if you weren't careful. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, you're perfectly safe here with me. I would never let anything happen to you. Except My for you. My job is to make sure all of our guests are taken care of, even after hours. My name is Sunny Day Jack. What's yours? It's Lion. Nice to meet you. It's very nice to meet you. I Identify your tags unknown. Memory disk space low. Meeting new friends is always great and... and it's been so long since I've seen anybody around. Not that I'm complaining or anything. I'm fine here, it's just... What do you mean you've never seen anybody around? That's... It's kinda creepy, party time, Jack. Just some routine maintenance. As soon as our amazing tech crew figures out what's wrong with me, I'll be back out there where everyone else is. There's... Sure, what? it's been a few months, yeah, but, but that just means it's only a matter of time now. There's plenty of things wrong with you, Jack, like whether it's in this universe or the other universe, we're still trying to figure out what's exactly wrong with you, so... Until then, all I have to do is be patient. So, what are you doing down here anyways? Are you lost? That's alright if you are. Everyone gets lost from time to time. And I just so happen to know that this room, it locks from the inside. That is a creepy detail, Jack. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't sound very safe at all. You'll be fine here as long as you don't leave. Still, it's not very good for you to hang out while we're closed. How long is this I'm afraid been you closed? won't be able to leave on your own until opening at 6.30 a.m. Security protocols dictate that all entrances and exits be sealed for optimal compliance with area code law. If you'd like, I could alert the authorities of your presence, but you could get into big trouble for that, can't you? And I'd hate for that to happen. Wouldn't you? I mean... Uh, yeah, and I, I don't think anyone here wants to get into trouble, but at the same time, 6.30, that's half an hour more than FNAF! Like, why, wh why would you keep me locked in here until 6.30? Maybe I could help you. You seem nice. I'd hate to stand by with a friend in need. Of course, I can't leave here. I would know, I've tried. Only staff can unlock the door, so... If you could get in, you probably have a key card, right? Okay, how did I get in in the first place? Is this a Gregory situation where we snuck in and like, uh, we, we, we just hung around for too long and now like the entire mega pizza plex is just like closed in on us. Like, well, what's, what's going on here? Also, where are the rest of the sunny time crew or party time crew? Oh, great, thank goodness. I was beginning to think they'd forgotten all about me down here. No, oh. I, I mean, no, they wouldn't. That, that was a joke. <laughs> if you let me out, I can make sure nobody finds you. It'll be our little secret, I promise. Somehow I feel like that's a bad idea. Somehow I feel like it's a bad idea to, like, let Jack out of the Mega Pizza Plex or whatever this location is. Like, I feel like that's gonna cause some chaos which we've never seen before. I'll make sure you're safe. And in return, what if you be my special friend? That sounds like a fair trade, right? Again with a special Nobody friend. Nobody has to know you came here. And you won't have to worry any longer. I'll take good care of you. Do you have pizza Alrighty. at least? I'm loving the can-do spirit. All right. Now, I'll need you to do something very brave for me. And I know it'll be hard, but you can trust me. 
I promise. Am I about to be scoped? Give me the key card. Wait, what key I'm card? I'm going to hold on to it for you. It'll be right here if you want it again. But if someone catches us, I'd hate for them to find you with stolen property. Better me than you, right? I have a bad feeling oh, about this. Go. Thank you so much for trusting me. You won't regret it. Anyway, that was Party Time Jack. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to watch this yourself, a uh, link to the official video is in the description below, as well as the YouTube version of this, which does have the captions and all. Despite the fact that it's not canon, I feel like this audio drama gives us a better idea of what Jack's motivations are, and it also gives us, like, somewhat of a clue as to, like, where some of the inspirations of Sunny Day Jack came from, which would be, like, a lot of mascot horror that's been coming out the past few years. I don't know if they're gonna be taking this AU anywhere. I don't know if the fans are gonna be taking this AU anywhere for themselves, but hey, uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of the day, and as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. This is Lion, signing off. Ciao.